we sense a soul in search of answers. game of the block it's going to be pure versus fantasy and now fantasy is in the position that calm was in last game now he can do it fantasy if he takes this game he's going to move up into the round of eight and the thing on pure's mind right now is pure already lost so he doesn't have a way to get out of this block with a win but if he wins right now he's going to force another tiebreaker round another block of three sets and so that's what he's going to try to do force this thing back again to another three sets and I think this is going to be fun oh man fantasy did an excellent job in that last game if he comes up with the same kind of innovation in this one he's going to be able to do it I have no doubt in my mind fantasy gotta pull out that great play that you had back when you won the pro league finals remember that play that was awesome play all right here we go look at pure he's spamming all kinds of things 1a 2a 3a all the a's buddy here we go. Except so down at the 8 o'clock position. Oh, cheese. Cheese coming out for Pure. Nice. So Pure is going to cheese on match point. And let's see if Fantasy can find it. Uh, the usual place for a Protoss to cheese on this map, or for any race to cheese, is right behind the minerals of the far away expansion. The mineral only expansion is right by the ridge, uh, the big ridge, which is the hardest place to defend against any kind of push. And uh, Pure is going down that way. Let's see exactly where he decides it. He's going out with another probe. What? Another probe going out for Pure. So, what ridiculousness does he have in mind? Although, to think about it, Pure doesn't have a whole lot of pressure on him. I mean, he's playing, it, it's still an important play, but if he wins this, he's still not going to get into the round of eight. So he's thinking, okay, got to come up with something creative. He's going to cheese right behind Fantasy's base. And this is a smart place to put it because players usually don't scout that way. Not usually on this map. They usually scout down and to the other side, outside uh, of this. And he's coming in with the probe. Smart play from Pure. This is exactly what he wanted to do. Go out with the probe. And uh, for the general scouting purposes, going in with that probe to make Fantasy think, well, he's coming up to steal my gas. And he is hovering around the gas. Well, Fantasy's going to try to force Fantasy to put down that gas. First person perspective, Fantasy does put down the gas. This is so smart for Pure. I can't even believe it. Uh, that first game didn't make Pure look very smart, but this one definitely does. Making Fantasy waste a bunch of minerals, throwing down the gas. So, <laughs> wow. So the Marines aren't going to be done nearly in time to fight off the Zealots. Let's see how many gateways that Pure decides to put down. I have a feeling it's all in, but we'll see soon enough. Is Pure trying to deny the barracks even longer? And he stealed some minerals too, so he's being so annoying. As fantasy is getting all of his uh, SCVs on that gas. Two gate, two star. Oh, this is awesome. Two gateways coming up for pure. And he's actually keeping up his probe saturation inside of his main, too. So he might actually be able to switch out of this, even if this fails. But okay, <laughs> let's see how pure does. He's going to come in. There go there's only going to be one Marine out. And the factory coming up for Fantasy IC, too. So as long as Pure denies this factory, I think he's going to be okay. Still only working against one barracks. Uh, no bunker in sight because Fantasy hasn't scouted this coming to him yet. Pure is waiting. He's biding his time until he has a couple of zealots. Uh, let's see if he can keep up his patience. Uh, his patience will be rewarded, but, of course, the factory is going to be a little bit done. Okay, here comes the, these zealots. Now Fantasy knows what's coming his way. He's got to get up that factory. He's committed to this now, so he's got to get it up. If he can get out a single vulture, he's going to be able to win this game, I think. 
but uh, Pure is sticking in as long as he can. Oh, he gets the surround of the Marines, though. Fantasy running away with his Marines. And the factory not up yet. Oh, killing the SCV that was building the factory. So Pure is actually getting it done. He has three Zealots in now, destroying everything, trying to destroy all the SCVs that are trying to finish up the factory. Oh, the factory not up, and Fantasy is not pumping any more Marines. No more Marines. He saved all of his minerals for that single Vulture, and now he has it pumping. He's losing every single SCV every single one but he's trying to get out one vulture and even if he gets out this one vulture i think pure will be able to tech up to dragoons fast enough to win this game so i don't think fantasy's going to be able to win he ran away <laughs> floating up his command center that's a little bit ridiculous vulture go oh, getting blocked in so smart so smart gg from pure uh, i gotta give him props for that that was excellent Excellent cheese. Some of the best Protoss cheese I've seen recently. But <laughs> there's a little smirk from Pure. He forces another block. And we're going to move on to round two of Group C tiebreakers.